Let's write this fraction in simplest form. And you can either see common factors, or if you don't, you can always write the prime factorization of the numerator and the denominator. Then you will always be assured that you will see any common factors. Now, why am I worried about common factors? Because a fraction is in simplest form when the numerator and denominator have no common factors other than 1. So let's write down the prime factorization of 42. I know 42 is 7 times 6. 6 is not prime, but I can write 6 as 2 times 3. And then what about 70? 70, I know, is 7 times 10, and 10 is 2 times 5. So you can double check, but here we have the prime factorization of the numerator and of the denominator. And now you can see there's a common factor of 7 in numerator and denominator, common factor of 2 in numerator and denominator. Now remember why we are able to divide out common factors. It's because we're essentially removing factors of 1. In other words, this is equal to 7 over 7 times 2 over 2 times 3 over 5. And what is 7 over 7? Well, that simplifies to 1. So this is 1. This 2 over 2 is 1. And then, of course, I have 3 over 5. And then what is this entire product? Well, 1 times 1 times 3 fifths is 3 fifths. So this fraction simplifies to 3 fifths, and there are no more common factors. Now, you can write it this way each time if you'd like, or understanding that you're removing factors of 1, you can say, well, I see a common factor of 7 in numerator and denominator, and you can divide through by those common factors in this way if you'd like. Either process works, and we're essentially doing the same thing.